good afternoon. Here we are for Chair Fit. Good to have you here with me today. Let's start with that tap out to the side. Good. We're going to work just a little bit on shoulders today. If you took the 930 class with me, we're going to do a similar series of, of arm motions. So if you don't want to do that, you could do something else, right? That'd be good. All right, let's do the heels forward with the arms up, arms down, arms up, arms down. Good. Modify if you need to, bend those elbows. Good. Warming up those shoulders, warming up that body. Two more. Last one right here. Now let's take those arms. We're going to go in and out. In and out. Bend that elbow if you need to. You could be here. So if this is too much leverage, right, you can shorten your lever right here. So you choose what works for you. You keep those legs moving to keep that blood pumping all the way through the whole body. All right, two more. Last one, here's the last part of the series is a um, cactus pose, open and close. When we get to a different part, all it'll be is the open part, and I'll show you what that looks like. In four, three, two, last one, march those feet right here, so it'll be open, open, right there. Open, 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 open. So pull them back, squeeze those shoulders. Squeeze those shoulders, good. Four, three, two, and last one. Now let's give those shoulders a break before we go through the whole series together. We're gonna to put all those movements together. Let's kick those feet. Good, give those arms a break. Good, let's change the legs just a little bit. Good, so it's gonna be a kick, bring it in, a kick, bring it down, kick, bring it in, a kick, bring it down, kick, in, in, and down, up, kick, in and down, up, kick, in and down. Two more, up, kick, in and down, and up, kick, in and down. Good, now march it out. Good, here come those arms. You ready? We're gonna put it all together. So remember, it's an up, it's an out, and it's a cactus. Good, so we're gonna go up, down, out, in, Cactus, cactus, up, down, out, in, cactus, cactus, up, down, out, in, cactus, cactus. So we're working on that whole shoulder. Up, down, out, in, cactus, cactus. One more. Up, down, out, in, cactus, cactus. Now that you got it, right? Roll those shoulders. Let's do just four more, just to solidify that. We really got it. So it's up, down, out, in, cactus, cactus, up, down, out, in, cactus, cactus. Two more, up, down, out, in, cactus. Last one, up, down, out, in, cactus, cactus. Good, ooh, roll those shoulders. Did you feel that in those shoulders? I sure did. All right, let's go ahead and grab one weight. We're gonna grab that one weight right here. We're gonna turn to the side because a lot of us have arms in our chair. One foot is in front of the other. We're gonna pull that lawnmower cord. Here it is, pull that lawnmower cord. So over the weekend I had mowed the lawn, not realizing that the wheel of the lawnmower was broken and it didn't roll. So it just about killed me, hurt my knee. And so I bought a new lawnmower, and my husband put it together and used it yesterday. It's still a push mower, but it rolls at least. Let's do four more. Three. Two. Last one. Now hold it back there. Let's pass the baton. Right? So we're getting ready to think about Olympics maybe in October, right? So we're going to pass the baton. Keep those shoulders down. Four more, three, two, last one, good. Now, right here, right close to your body, you're gonna punch it forward, bring it back. 
punch it forward, bring it back. Keep that upright posture, make that arm work. It's almost like we're sawing the log. Saw the log. Saw the log. Good. And it's not the, the snoring sawing the logs, right? Like your grandparents used to do, because you don't do that. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. Good. Keep that arm right here. We're going to lift and lower. Lift and lower right here. Just that one arm at a time today. Good. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. Ooh, that's enough on one arm, isn't it? Let's go ahead to the other side right here. So let's pull it down. Pull it back. Pull. 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 We're pulling that one more cord. Pull. Alright, four more. Three. Two. And last one. Good. Lift that elbow right here. Kick it back like we're passing the baton. Good. So I have no idea what the Olympics will look like this year, but we will be doing something. We haven't 100% decided yet. Good. So look, look for news about that coming pretty soon, I would guess. Four more. Three. Two. And last one. Good. Sitting up nice and tall. Let's punch it out. Pull it back. Punch it out. Pull it back. Punch it out. Pull it back. Good. Four more. Three. Two. And last one. Bring it right here. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Good. Got it. So let's do four more. Three, two, and last one. Good. All right, let's come back to the center. Grab both weights. Where's my other weight? It's there. It's there. All right, so we're not going to do too much more with those weights. So sit up nice and tall. We've got to get those bicep curls. Keep those summertime arms so we can wear short sleeves, right? So let's do a bicep. Let's, let's do a little bit more than a bicep. Let's do a lift, a little lift to the front, bring it down, and bring it down. Lift, little lift, down and down. So if you can't do part of that, maybe it's this part, then just do bicep curls, that's fine. Good, always modify for what your body feels like for today, right? Some days things hurt and we just can't do them the same that we could yesterday. Good. I have those days too, just so you know. You just don't know it because I don't teach those things that hurt me on a certain day. Or I modify, and you might notice that every once in a while that I modify too. Especially with these heavier weights. I have not, after all these months, gotten used to them. They're still heavy. Alright, one more. Good, alright. Now, let's sit back in that chair. We're going to work that tummy just a little bit. So, <clears throat> we can do this with a weight or without We decide. We're going to use one weight at a time. So we're going to sit up off the chair and lift, alternate it, up and lift. So if this hurts, try to do it without the weights first, because we're still, our focus is the tummy. If it still hurts, then just do the lift off the chair, don't do the leg, right? And if that still hurts, do something else, right? Smile at me at the screen and tell when you find something that doesn't hurt. Good. A smile means something good is coming to your body. Your body says, hey, we're smiling. Something good is happening. All right. Let's do two more. And last one right here. Got to do the whole set. Good. Ooh. All right. Let's roll those shoulders. I really felt that in those shoulders. Let's go ahead and put those weights away because um, we did a lot already with those muscles in the arms. We started out our warm-up even. All right, so grab the ball. We're going to work on those oblique muscles. So we just did the front muscles. Let's do the sides. So shoulders are down. Turn and tap. Turn and tap. Good. If the turn makes you dizzy, don't turn your head. Keep the head forward. That's perfectly fine. Good. Working those side muscles. 
So we're working the, the twister muscles here, the twisting muscle. There's an actual name for them, that it is not twisting muscle. It's got a more technical term. But for your purposes and mine, twisting muscle is fine. All right, one more. Good, now here's the side muscle. These are the obliques. That is the technical term for those. Good, we're gonna rock it. Maybe we're lifting a heel. Maybe we're lifting a foot. Maybe we're not lifting anything. We're just rocking. Good. It's, uh, I like to call this the balance scale, right? We're, that balance scale, we're trying to get it balanced and we're just rocking it out. Good. Let's do four more. Three, two, and last one, bring that ball over, other hand. So we start with this twister muscles right here. Open and close, makes me think of the game twister. Wouldn't that be something? We're all playing that game. Boy, talk about a coronavirus haven. Good, there we go. Better call my son in college and tell him, don't be playing twister. Oh my gosh, he's got more common sense than that. He's saying, Mom, what are you talking about? He probably doesn't even know what it is. Let's do four more. Three, two, and last one. Bring those weights right here. Weights at the ball. Good. Here's that rocking balance scale. Good. Rocking scale right here. Four more, three, two, and last one. Good. Ooh, that was great. Good job. Let's take that ball. We're going to put it right here between those calf muscles or those shins. Let's scoot it all the way back. I always forget those weights are there. All right. <laughs> nice and tall. Good. So squeeze the ball slightly. Turn one foot so it's turning to the outside. So it's one foot this way, one foot that way. And then I want you to push, push with those legs. Good. So we're working that inner thigh on one side, but we're also working the, the back part of the leg, the hamstring a little bit on this side. Good. Four. Three, two, last one. Now turn and try to do the other side. I gotta adjust a little bit here. There you go. Push it. Pulse it. Good. Last one, now roll it. Roll it, squeeze those legs together. Squeeze them together. Good. Squeeze them together. Every time I want you to turn the foot, bring the foot back to the middle. Turn, back to the middle. Turn, back to the middle. Oh, do you feel those inner thighs? They're talking, aren't they? They're like, whoa, what are we doing? Let's not do it too much longer. Two more. Ooh, last one. Oh. Wow, you know what? Let's find something else to do for just a minute because even my inner thighs are burning. Let's grab the strap, please. Grab your strap right here. Good. So we're gonna work a whole different part of the leg. So put the strap around your feet and then grab the strap, scoot yourself back again. So we've done these a couple of times. So we're gonna sit tall, pull back, open those legs. Squeeze out, outwardly. Squeeze out. Pull it back. Pull it back. Good. Working those balance muscles on the side. Those lateral muscles there are balance muscles. They're the ones that help us when we kind of teeter a little bit. They pull us back. So we're really building some muscle memory there as well as muscle to help us, uh, help our bodies remember to come on back to the center. Good. Give them the power to do it. Four. Three, 
Two, keep your arm really close right here. Pulse the legs, pulse the elbow. I know it feels a little spastic. If you have an arm in your chair, don't be hitting your arm on your chair. Four, three, two. Oh, last one. Good. Give that arm a shake and a shrug. All right, here, let's do that other side. So open, close. So all that shoulder work we did, I can feel it when we do this, can't you? Yeah. All right. Open and close. Pull it back. Good. Those legs should be talking to you a little bit because we've been using them a lot. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. Pulse it right here. Pulse it. Four, three, two, and last one. Good. All right, now take those straps and we're going to put them with your hands down. You're holding on the side. Bring those legs up. Same legs. Jumping jack legs. Jumping jack legs. Pull, pull. Bring those elbows back. Good. Bring those elbows back. Squeeze those shoulders. Oh, oh there's that S word. Using those shoulders. Good. Four more. Three. Two. We're going to give all those muscles a break here. Last one. Good. Now, scoot forward in your chair just a little bit. Let's cross that, um, cross the strap right there at the calves, the shins. Keeping your feet together. Make sure there's enough tension. Walk your heels out. The toes are kissing each other. They're touching. Good. Now, open and close. Open and close. Open. Close. Good. Open and close. Working the strength of those ankles, giving the rest of those muscles a bit of a break. Good. Open and close. I have a hole in my strap. It's getting bigger. Four. Three, I better bring another one because I don't have another one too. And last one. Oh, we wouldn't have we wouldn't have scraps to use that day at all. Oh, that'd be bad, huh? Yeah. Alright. So bring those feet about hip distance apart so you should see a little bit of blue in between your feet. I'm gonna scoot forward just a little bit, make me sit taller, use some of my posture muscles. And let's tap it back. Pull it back. Working the back of that leg. That hamstring muscle. A lot of times we use this, or we do this exercise using the ball, but today we're going to do it using the strap to work those hamstrings. Tab it back. Oh, I like this one.
working on balance, maybe not so much chair yoga, Wednesdays would be the day for you. And if you're interested in more chair yoga and not so much balance, the other days of the week work better. Good. Although I do a balance, a little bit of balance in every class I do. Good. All right, balance is so important. Good. So when we come up, I want you to think about squeezing the buttocks and squeezing the back muscle. So focus on those muscles. Now that you got the movement, and we're going to do a little pull here. So we're working those muscles that help us stand the back up when we bend forward. Good. If those muscles are weak, that's when we tend to fall forward because we can't catch ourselves. So these are those catching muscles, the muscles that catch you when you fall going forward. So squeeze those muscles in the back side. Four more. Three. Two. And last one. Good. All right, take that strap away, please. If you need to give it a shake, if you might have some carpet dust on it. Let's grab our ball. We're going to take that ball and put it right behind your back. Good. All right. Let's go ahead and take that strap. We're going to bring it around the armpits like you just put on your jacket. Good. All right, right here. So pull forward, push back. Pull forward, push back. Now, first of all, let's just take the arms out of the equation. Sit up tall, push the ball back. I want you to tighten all your tummy muscles and all the inside muscles muscles that stop the flow of things. All of them. And relax. Good. Squeeze. Good. If you're not sure what muscles I'm talking about, you can call Whitney or you can Google it. <laughs> Good. There's a couple options there. Squeeze. But if you ask me, I'll probably blush and just say, please ask someone else. I tell you. All right, squeeze. But I'm not going to broadcast on 1390. Squeeze. So ask me in private. Squeeze. Pull. Good. Squeeze all those muscles. Pull. Good. So the pull forward, really, we are working those arms a little bit. For the most part, in this position, we're just working those abdominal muscles. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. Now we're going to work the tricep muscle. So lift up those elbows, and we're going to chop. Come back. Chop. What are we doing with the ball? We're squeezing the ball. Squeeze it back. Good. Squeeze it back. Squeeze it back. Squeeze it back. Good. Squeeze. 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 Four. Three. Two. Last one. Now leave them forward. Just lift them up. Push the ball back. Hold all those muscles tight. Push up. Push up. Push up. For some of us, that might not work. Maybe we're going to punch forward. Good. Work whatever you can there. Squeeze those muscles to the back for four, three, two. Ah, last one. Good. Give those shoulders a roll. Take that strap from out of behind the back. And seeing that ball is there, you got to do that massage. So roll around a little bit. Good. Give yourself a little bit of a back massage. Doesn't that feel good? Good. Get that back massage in. Ooh. Try to lift those hips a little bit. It works some of the muscles in the lower back, too. All right. Ah, and that's the last one of those. Good. All right. So let's bring that jar here. Let's work a little bit of the um, small motor skills here. Palm is down, and we're going to turn that jar. We're going to open the jar right here. Good. Maybe it's spaghetti sauce. We're going to have spaghetti squash with spaghetti sauce. Oh, that sounds good. Does anybody else like spaghetti squash? I do. And then the other way. Alright, and then let's do the other side. So, like, um, 
What I do in my spaghetti squash is I cook it first, and I get all the spaghetti squash out, and so I have like a hollow shell. Then I mix the spaghetti squash with black beans, cheese, tomatoes, and ground turkey that's all cooked together. And then I bake it until the cheese is golden brown right here. Let's squeeze it. And it is so yummy and so good for you. Very, very healthy. And I use ground turkey. I don't use ground meat. And then the other way, unless that's all I have. So, I mostly have ground turkey. All right. Let's squeeze, squeeze. All right, take it, roll it. Push in just that little bit. Work those. Um, pectoral muscles while we stretch the hands. Good, hold it right here. Do the other side. Good, all right, let's put that ball away. Sitting up nice and tall. Ah, good. You feel your muscles are all stronger and they're reverberating a little bit, aren't they? So let's take one ear to the side, bringing that chin down towards your chest here. Bring that ear to one side, bring the head up and go to the other side. And bring that chin down towards your chest. that ear over and all the way up, sit up tall, tuck your chin. Good, bring that head right here, let's shrug those shoulders like we're saying, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, you know what, I realized that with my hands on my knees, my shoulders are forward, so let's bring those shoulders up back and down. Now shrug them, feel the difference. What a difference that is, isn't it? Yeah. Good. All right. Let's take those feet, bring them out to the front. Let's cross one foot over the top of the other, being mindful that when we do this, we make it a little tighter. Sitting up nice and tall, let's hinge forward right here. Relax through those thighs. No somersaults, please. That's a whole different class. And then let's come up and we don't teach it here for her leg. All right, let's do the other side. Cross that other leg over and lean forward. Push that chest forward. Good. One more breath here. And come all the way up. Good. Sitting up nice and tall, let's turn and twist and look behind. If it's comfortable, reach that arm. Big stretch like you're saying with Sunday. Come on, we're having a great time. Come and join us. And bring it back to the center. Let's do the other side. Turn and reach. Good. And bring it back to the center. Let's curl. And inhale and lift. And curl. Good, very good. All right, let's bring those legs out a little wide. Let's just knock those knees together and open, stretching through that inner part of the thigh. Good, I like this song, so I'm not gonna shut it off yet, but we are almost ready for our joke. All right, let's pull those knees together. Hold them here. Lean forward just that little bit. And bring it all the way up. Now bring them out. Lean forward just that little bit. Stick that tailbone into the chair. Good. Let's come all the way up. Scoot back into that chair. Good. I do have a joke for today. I feel like I might have read this one before just recently, so if I have, please forgive me. Point and flex those feet. There were three guys named Jackson who were all in the clothing business. 
Due to the lack of real estate options in their city, they all set up shop next door to each other. In order to convince customers to come into their store rather than one of the other Jacksons, they all put up signs to attract the customers. The one on the left put up a sign that says Jackson Clothing Store, best prices. Not to be outdone, the one on the right put up a sign that said Jackson's Clothing Store, best quality. But the one in the middle thinks about it for a long time and eventually puts up a sign of its own. It says, Jackson's Clothing Store, main entrance. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see you back here the next time.